When I'm checking out, I'm always looking around to see if I can find anything that maybe I missed. And then I usually will just quickly grab it. So I've got a few things here that were not in the video. I've got one more, actually two more things. Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a haul for you and this haul is from Good Neighbor Thrift Shop in Humboldt and Community Gift and Thrift in Lanigan, Saskatchewan. If you are new here, my name is Natisha. I'm a vintage reseller and collector. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, I take you thrift store shopping in search of items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. And on Sundays, we meet back here and I show you everything that I got and I am located in Saskatchewan, Canada. So all my prices are in Canadian currency. So let's get right to it and I'm gonna show you everything that I got from Good Neighbor Thrift Shop in Humboldt. All right, we'll start off with this. It is a sculptural piece of what looks to me like two lovers embracing looks like a man and then this looks like a woman with the ponytail and I just thought it was a unique piece I believe it is hand carved and I can tell by the bottom you can see some kind of chunkiness in there so I believe that it was hand carved and it's done really well except for the paint job on the bottom is a little bit sloppy. I guess they didn't care too much because you don't really see the bottom. So, but the rest of it is, is quite nicely done. It's got a nice weight to it, a unique shape. And sculptural pieces are quite popular right now. And I paid $4 for it. And I would expect to get 38 to $42 in my Etsy shop. And this piece, I see these pieces quite often. I don't usually pick them up, but because it had the matching spoon with it, I thought it made it a little bit extra special. And this is stainless steel made in Japan. And I assume it is a gravy boat or sauce bowl. And I would expect to get 24 to 28 dollars for this in my Etsy shop. And I'm not sure if I said it or not, but I paid three dollars for it. And this piece, I love this piece. I love these glass pieces. And it looks to me like Empoli glass made in Italy. There is no marks on the bottom. It does not say made in Italy or anything but it definitely has the look of Empoli Italian glass. It's got the circus tent lid. And it is a candy dish or compote. And I would expect to get 38 to $42 for this in my Etsy shop and I paid $4 for it. No, I paid $3 for it. And this wasn't in the video, but I spotted it on a shelf with a bunch of candle holders and I grabbed it because it's definitely mid-century modern. It's got the hairpin legs and I believe it is for possibly a coffee pot or a carafe. It's got the candle in the bottom, so you would light the candle and it would heat or keep warm whatever was up here. And it could have been a bowl maybe, but likely a coffee pot or carafe would have sat on this piece. I paid $1.50 for it and I grabbed it because I may find a piece that'll fit in here and then I can sell it as what it is actually intended for. 
So I'm not gonna be listing it anytime soon and I don't have a value for it or what I expect to get for this piece because it's not finished. But I picked it up, it was $1.50. I like anything with the hairpin legs on it. A very mid-century modern look to it. And I don't think this was in the video either. <laughs> when I'm checking out, I'm always looking around to see if I can find anything that maybe I missed. And then I usually will just quickly grab it. So I've got a few things here that were not in the video. I've got one more, actually two more things besides this one. So um, I grabbed this mirror and it just sits on a table. So I thought it would be perfect for our bowler when we're traveling. I can sit this up on the counter to do my makeup or whatever. So that's why I purchased this. So it's not gonna be listed in my Etsy shop, but it was $1. And this is another, well, I'll share that. I'll wait to the end to show you this big piece that you did not see in the video. And this was not in the video either. And it is just a cute little vintage um, baby blanket for crib. And it feels like it is new old stock. It doesn't appear to have ever been used, although I could not find a tag on it. So I don't know if the tag was cut off or if maybe they didn't put tags on these particular blankets, I'm not sure. It is a, an acrylic blanket. It's got that kind of, I don't know. A lot of times it's satin here, but this doesn't feel like satin. It's a little bit more coarser feeling. And it is signed Charles Owen, 1988. And it's got really cute little ducks on it. And I don't pick up a lot of baby stuff, but I thought because it appeared to be new old stock and it was only $2, had a cute little pattern and it had a name and a date on it. I figured I would pick it up and see how it does in my Etsy shop. And I would value this at $38. And I grabbed some linens and some of these you saw and some of these you didn't. <laughs> so I picked up this one. It's a really pretty rose tablecloth. It's got a embroidered rose on it all four corners. It was $2.50. It's a nice soft cotton material. And I don't see any stains or rips or holes or anything. Oh wait, maybe there's one tiny little hole. Yes, there is one tiny little hole on there, so. But overall, for its age, decent condition. There's one tiny little rip there as well. I'm not sure if I will list this in my Etsy shop, being that it is not in perfect condition. But what I also might do is, if I find other linens that aren't in the best condition, maybe put them all together in one listing as a lot, and someone can repurpose them for something. I'm sure something could be done with this tablecloth to repurpose it. And I mean, it's still functional and still beautiful with the little flaws. It can be still used on a table in the condition that it's in. I would expect to get about $15 for it. And this one is embroidered as well. Is that a basket or a bouquet? It's kind of a bouquet, I guess. And that's all around and in the center of the tablecloth. Just a small tablecloth. I don't see any rips, holes, or stains in this one. 
It looks like it's in, nope, is that, mm, there is one tiny little mark there. So not in perfect condition either. A couple little spots, but not as bad as the other one. So I would value this one a little bit higher and I would expect to get about $24 for this one. And this one, I initially wasn't going to pick this one up, but then I looked at it again and I was like, why am I not going to pick this one up? It's got the cutout. What do I got it backwards? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's all cut out on all four corners with an embroidered floral design. All four corners have that and all along the edge as well as the center. You see me? <laughs> as well as the center has the cutout and embroidery. Really, really pretty. This one does have some light staining on it there. You can see some kind of bluish marks. I don't see any intentional, unintentional holes or rips or anything in it. Just some really light staining that once again could come out with some soaking and cleaning. And I paid 450 for this one. It is 48 by 48 inches. So it is a larger one, quite a bit larger than those ones. And a lot more unique than those ones are. A little more detail to it. So even with the staining, I would expect to get about 48 to $52 for this one. And that's all my linens that I got. I didn't even find any vintage towels this time. So this last piece, I didn't actually see this piece in the thrift store. Wendell spotted it. It was hanging on the wall quite high up in the thrift store. So I didn't even notice it. And he pointed it out to me and I went over and checked it out. And I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. Mid-century modern wall clock. It's Bulova Quartz and I paid $4 for it. I'm going to try and show you without showing too much of a reflection. It's got a really cool shape and design. It is battery operated. I have not tested it yet. And I do not know the value of this piece, but I will figure it out before I upload this video and I will add it in here somewhere. So you have an idea of what the value of a clock like this is worth. And I actually have one other one very similar that I have to list, very similar style. So I've got several clocks that I need to list. So I'm going to be doing some clock research and listing very soon, hopefully. So that was a really nice find. That was $4. And that was everything that I got from Good Neighbor Thrift Shop in Humboldt. And then we went over to Lanigan and I got just a couple things there. So by the time we got to Lanigan, they were closing in 20 minutes. So I had to do some mad shopping very quickly, ran around the store to see if I could find any vintage goods. And I found a few. I found this milk glass piece with the flower frog in it, the glass flower frog. It was $5. Unfortunately, the bottom piece has a big chip on it right there. And I did not see that in the store because I really didn't have the time to examine the piece. I did feel the top to make sure there wasn't any chips or cracks on the top, but 
I did not even think of checking the bottom. So there is a big chip on the bottom. So I will probably just try and resell this piece locally and hopefully get about $20, 20 to $25 in the condition that it's in. Without the chip, I would expect to get 30 to $35 for it. And the last piece that I got, no, I got two more pieces, sorry. <laughs> I found this painting. It was inside this frame and I took it out and it was $1. And I wasn't sure if it was an original painting or if it was a print. So I removed it from the frame and it is definitely an original, possibly acrylic and oil, perhaps. I'm not an expert in painting, so I don't know for sure. That is the back of the piece. And I looked at it really closely with a magnifying glass and I could not find a signature anywhere. So I really don't know much about this piece other than the fact that it is definitely an original piece. And I don't know if I will be listing it in my Etsy shop anytime soon. I'm not sure. I don't even know how to value this piece. So I will probably do a little bit more research. There is a little bit of staining on it. There's a few spots. I believe those are probably from dust. So that's unfortunate, but it's a nice original piece. And I only paid a dollar for it, so. And the last piece I got was this footstool. <laughs> and it was $5.00. And it's got a vinyl cover on it that is in really nice condition. Might have been redone at some point. And the wood does need a little bit of help. Some refinishing. So I'm going to probably list this locally and somebody can refinish it. And they can change the top and put some new material on it and refinish this however they want. And I would expect to get 20 to $25 for this. Um, somewhere on Facebook Marketplace or a local buy and sell group. And hopefully sell it locally. That was everything from Lanigan and I think I paid about $15, 16, 15 or $16 for everything in there. And that is everything from my haul today. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.